Hello everyone, Abdul Muqsid here with another episode of Croco Tips. Today we will discuss how you can create post count in WordPress using JetAgent without using any plugin. In addition to how to display how many CPT you have in your website. So let's start. All right. Right now I am working on a ticketing system using Jet Engine. I will show you the case study some other time because I am still working on this system. I have a CPT called tickets and inside tickets I have some meta fields also. In order to count the views, we need to add another meta field in our CPT. I will go to Jet Engine meta boxes. I have a ticket meta and let's add something called post count okay now this is a unique key you need to keep it in mind it should be unique the field type should be number and we are not touching these values default value should be zero okay and let's update now let's check in our CPTs whether we have the new field or not click on edit and we have post count here which start from zero now what we want each time i click on any cpt or in your case you might be uh, reading the news in your website so once someone open the news i want the number to be updated okay in order to update this number we need three lines of code it's pretty easy we need to use two function of the WordPress. Okay, first we need to fetch the meta value of our post, the current value. In our case, it's zero right now. We are using a function called post meta, get post meta, which has three parameters. First one, it will get the ID, the unique ID of the current post, and it will ask for the key, which key you want to use. In our case, the key is post count. Let's copy it from here and paste. Okay. Now, the third parameter we have true. Ideally, when you are fetching the meta value, it will give you an array. If you want to get the first item in array, you should use the third parameter true. In this case, right now here, we have the value of zero. Okay. Now, we will have another variable, v2 version 2 which will increment one number in the old so in this case once someone refresh this number will become one again refresh it will be two three four five six and so on once we get this updated number we will use another function update post meta with the help of current id and we will provide the post count meta value sorry meta key and we will update this post count with v2 in this case v2 is 1 next time it is 2 3 4 and so on okay copy this code i will paste the code in description so you can copy let's go to our appearance and our theme make sure you have a child theme theme function and we will paste our code here okay update let me refresh this post one time, two times, three times. Let's go back to our CPT and see whether the counts are updated or not. So we have two. Okay. Now the next step is to display the count value somewhere here in your case uh, how many people saw the news and so on the events we'll go to theme builder and we will edit single ticket click on edit let's set somewhere here okay i will create a new item the default value should be from dynamic takes we will go and click on custom fields and post count is the custom field okay 
right now it's not showing anything because it's in the preview mode let's change the icon to something i okay perfect and update let's refresh this post so we got three refresh again four five and so on okay now if you want to make this code more meaningful more accurate you can add is user admin or is user login so it will exclude the user count or the admin count so this was part one let's go back to our website and what i want to display this count here okay which is one and this one is one also okay so in order to display it here these are single listing i will go to listings and ticket listing edit with elementor okay so i have these fields let me replace with this one custom field and post count okay it's showing one and i will use update refresh the tickets and we got views five one four and so on okay so this is how you display post count for your jet engine cpt without plugin now the second scenario is i want to show how many cpt item i have in this cpt okay how many posts i have so for this let's go back i want to show in the same page or anywhere first there are two methods okay i will show you both of them first we go to query builder it's a bit professional way add new and uh, let's name it uh, tickets count okay post query and post type is tickets okay let me display it so oh, it is giving us three that's it add query now remember in future if you want to refine this query you can add post status you can order and you can you can separate it with meta or text or data or anything from here it will reflect on the number of count on your website all right let's go to save template and tickets here let's use icon box icon box i'll place it here nope all right tickets okay i will remove it and i want to show here the total number of tickets or the total number of cpd click here on dynamic tags and here you can find query result count it will ask for the query right now we created query ticket counts and that's it we got the tickets okay here you can add before total tickets three okay now if you want to play around and you want to change the number based on status how many pending tickets or solve or open you can do that by uh, playing with the query builder okay another method method to achieve that is instead of using query builder you can click on dynamic tags and here we have dynamic function in function we will choose count and data source we choose post meta here it will ask for the field name so in order to make sure it fetch the correct data you should use the meta field which is filled by default in our case we have views okay so let's use this views and see whether we are getting the result 
okay it's showing 10 why because we did not choose the cpt okay so here let's choose the type tickets now it's three okay so this way you can fetch the count if you don't want to use query builder okay uh, in next tutorial or in next episode i will show you a complete complete case study of how this ticketing system work and how i built it it is using cpt and cct and everything is automated if you have any question in this tutorial feel free to ask in comments thank you so much